Is this racist? What a fucking n***er. Yes, that's racist. Global condemnation, mass media outrage. Is this racist? Rapper wearing a hoodie that says revenge depicts the hanging of a white child to achieve racial justice. No, that's not racist. Barely any condemnation, barely any media coverage. I can't even show the full clip because this video would get removed. Oh, but YouTube will let you watch the original, not age-restricted and with millions and millions of views. They even added it to their trailer trending section. A video of a child being lynched. Because that's advertiser friendly. Criticise modern art though, that's a big no-no. Let's do a character witness. Who's the villain here? Who's more likely to be driven by hate and intolerance? PewDiePie, a meek Swede who plays video games and messed up by saying a bad word. Or this thug, someone who gets into brawls on stage, allegedly headbutts and punches his pregnant girlfriend, then rants about how he's going to sexually abuse people's sisters as revenge. Who's the bad guy? Who's subject to global media condemnation? Yeah, it's PewDiePie. But Paul, the rapper was decrying racial violence on both sides. Really? Okay, there's a couple of lines in the song which suggest that. But it's pretty hard to express nuance when you're depicting black on white mob beatings and children getting lynched. Besides, in his own words, he said he did it to get noticed. His main motivation was to cause controversy. My point is the double standard of the media in how this is glossed over, but PewDiePie is vilified for saying a bad word. Depicting a white kid writhing in agony as he's strangled to death to satiate your twisted need for racial justice. That kind of trash is actually going to create more white supremacists. Well done! Yeah, you want to drive more people into embracing ethnocentrism, that's the way to do it. You want to worsen racial divisions, that's the way to do it. Oh, but PewDiePie made a sound with his mouth that was offensive! Yeah, he apologised for it and the vast majority of his viewers accepted the apology. Oh, but we need more grist for our fake moral panic. We need more red meat for my race war. So we're never going to shut up about it. Young Turks celebrating the dying out of white Christians. Is that racist? No. But the ACLU posted a photo of a white baby. That's racist. A top musician creating a taxpayer-funded spoken word performance in which he describes white people as inbred spawn soon to die out. You are dead. Dead, random, white dude. Is that racist? No. But your kid might be part of a hate group if they listen to heavy metal music, saying all white people are racist, thereby collectively demonizing an entire group based on their skin color. Is that racist? No, but Macklemore's haircut from a year ago, a hairstyle literally favored by the majority of men in the Western world between the ages of 18 and 40, that's racist. Oh, and Eric Trump's haircut too, that's racist. CNN published an article basically saying that all Trump supporters, 63 million Americans, including nearly 4 million black people, were white supremacists by default. And that's not racist. White marble, on the other hand, mm, that's racist. You know what else the left thinks is racist? White marble. Here's what University of Iowa professor Sarah Bond wrote about the classical art world. The equation of white marble with beauty is not an inherent truth of the universe. It's a dangerous construct that continues to influence white supremacist ideas today. The Huffington Post reacting to the tragic death of Otto Warmbier by mocking the fact that his white privilege didn't save him. Is that racist? No. Speaking English in higher education, and that's racist. Even though the majority of the people in the world who speak English aren't white, 
Meh, it's still racist. An art poster plastered on the wall of a national gallery that repeatedly says F white people. <laughs> Is that racist? No. People dressed up as cops and robbers for a college costume party. That's racist because it's offensive to the black prison population. Upholding a culture and a welfare system that keeps black people poor, dependent, breaks up their families, and leaves them prone to mass incarceration. That's not racist. Confederate General Robert Lee statues. That's racist. Even though Lee said slavery was, quote, evil, and freed all the slaves on his plantations. Meh, still racist. Charles Barkley saying that black people should concentrate more on getting an education and being successful than tearing down statues. I think if you ask most black people, to be honest, they ain't thought a day in their life about those stupid statues. What we as black people need to do, we need to worry about getting our education, we need to stop killing each other, we need to try to find a way to have more economic opportunity and things like that. That's racist, and Barclay's a white supremacist for saying it. Can't we just stop obsessing about racism for five minutes? Can't we just stop weaving every tiny little thing into a giant tapestry of moral panic and contrived race war? Can't we remember Martin Luther King's message of judging someone based on the content of their character, not on the color of their skin? Can't we all just get along? That's racist! Please click the big red button to subscribe, it really helps me when you do that, and click the bell to allow notifications so you never miss a new video.